Hi there. In this video, I will show you how to get started with NAM and Reaper. We will download both applications, do the initial setup, and show you a couple of different ways to set up NAM. Let's get started. We're going to download NAM first. I'm going to go to neuralampmodeler.com. I'm going to go to play, scroll down to play, and I have a Windows PC. Download the Windows installer. Download. Open the zip file. Install it. You may get this warning uh, since this is a, a beta and still in development. You may get this warning from Windows. You just click more info and run anyways. For Reaper, we want to make sure we install the VST3 plugin. next and finish. Now we're going to download Reaper. We're going to go to reaper.fm. This is Reaper's website. I'm going to go to download Reaper. I'm on Windows. So I'm going to download the 64-bit installer. Run installer. I'm going to choose a portable install just so it doesn't interfere with my main install for this demo. You can just do all the defaults. We can go ahead and run Reaper. When you first open Reaper, it will ask you to select an audio device. For now, we're gonna click no, and I'll show you how to get to the settings here shortly. So Reaper is not free, but you can use it for 60 days and then they require you to uh, purchase a license. Nothing happens if you don't purchase a license after 60 days. So I'll leave it up to you. But you know, if you use it for an extended period of time, go ahead and buy a license. We first have to tell Reaper which audio interface to use. For that, we're going to go to options, preferences, Scroll to audio device. We're gonna change the audio system to ASIO. For my driver, I'm going to use the Focusrite USB audio. And here, I'm only interested in the first four inputs for this. So I'm just gonna do a range of one to four. And then for my outputs, I'm only interested in, we just choose the whole range. This is important right here. We gotta make sure that we're working in 48,000 sample rate. For the block size in my system, I can use 64. But if it's, you start getting pops and cracks, try 128, 256, keep going higher until it stops. The general rule of thumb is the lower the block size, the less latency, and the higher the block size, the more latency. Reaper is now ready for your audio interface. We now have to set up Reaper to find NAM. To do that, we're going to scroll down to plugins, VST, and then in here, in this box, it's where you tell Reaper where to find the plugin. By default, VST3 folder should be here already, but if it's not, you would go to edit path list, add path, go to your PC, C drive, program files, go down to common files, ESD3, and then you would add that folder there. You would click apply. Then you can do a rescan of plugins to make sure that NAM gets added to your plugins list. When it finished scanning, we can click OK. And now we're ready to start a new project. In Reaper, to set up a new project, you would just go to File, New Project. Nothing really happens because we're already in the beginning. Even though we told Reaper to use 48,000 sample rate, 
in the previous section, we had to tell it to use 48,000 sample rate in the project settings. To do that, we go to file, project settings, check the project sample rate and change it to 48,000. Click OK. We're now ready to load up NAM. To do that, we're going to create a new track. You can do that by double clicking on this area. We can rename it something like guitar one. Then we have to tell this track which input on my interface to use. To do that, you would go to the meter right next to the mute and solo button. Right click on it. Let's go down to input mono. And then here you see the inputs that we specified during setup. I'm going to choose input one because that's what my guitar is plugged into. To find NAM, we're going to click the effects button on the track. This will load up the list of plugins in your system. And the best way is just to search it. Neural. Just make sure you're searching in the right section because if you're searching on the instrument, you're not going to find it. So make sure you're all plugins. Here's neural app monitor. We're going to add it. Once we have it open, we're going to select a model. For this, I'm going to use this boosted three for my latest Mesa Boogie DC five pack. And then for the IR, I'm going to choose this 212 V 30 mix one. We're not going to get any sound until we set up input monitoring on this track to do that. We have to arm the track, do that by clicking the record button up here. Then right next to it, we need to turn on input monitoring. You can just click through the options until you see it on or auto. Okay. When you're using a high gain, tone like this one, you can get a lot of noise. I purposely turn a few things on here to make sure that I get a lot of noise. So here's what it sounds like. Let's turn on NAMS gate. It's still not tight enough. You can bump it up. You still get that weird tail at the end. Also, the attack kind of gets lost. We can use Rear Gate, which comes built in with Reaper. It has a few more options, and I just think it sounds better. We're going to raise the threshold a little bit. We're going to put it before the amp first. We're going to raise the threshold a little bit. Right here is not much different than the NAM gate. But then this is where it shines. You can adjust the release. Just fine tuning it. You can see the attack is still there. Maybe too tight. Off. Back on. 
That's a lot tighter. Right now we have a pretty dry sound, so let's add some reverb. Reaper comes with a free one, works well. Load it up at the end of the chain. We're gonna bring down the wet to maybe 20, negative 20 something dB. Now let's add some delay. Reaper comes with a free delay as well. Just search for delay. There we go. We're gonna bring the bring the wet down. Bring the speed down a little bit. Set up the feedback. Get the number of repeats that you're happy with. I like doing a high pass and a low pass on my repeats. But, and then move the delay before the reverb so things don't get messy. Okay. Another way to set up delay and reverb so that they don't interfere with each other is to set up effects tracks. To do that, we would just make two additional tracks. Let's call this one reverb. This one delay. We're basically just going to drag the plugins we had to the corresponding new track. Delete the ones we had. For this to work, you want to make sure your wet is on 100% and your dry is zero. Same with the delay. You want delay the wet to be 100%, dry to be zero. And then you would just drag from your sand. So this is your guitar track. We're gonna do is we're gonna get your original sound, and then we after that you get your sound, you're gonna send a copy of it to your reverb and to your delay, and then you're gonna mix it on the side parallel to your original sound. This is beneficial because first you don't have your delay repeats going into your reverb, just keeps everything cleaner and just a little more control. So you would just drag these like this. So that makes that connection makes the sand from your guitar track to the reverb and then we're going to do the same to the delay. There we go. So now we have your original track, guitar track, and then we have a sand to your reverb and a sand to your delay. And then you can control how much you send by turning these two knobs.
Well, that's it. Uh, I hope this video was useful to get you started with NAM and Reaper. Again, if you're liking my videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, thank you and have a wonderful day.